All right guys, so a quick unboxing I wanna do. You guys may have seen this particular product all over your PRS fields, but it is the MDT Skypod. Let me get that in there for you. This is uh, kinda how they send it to you with this sort of thing. But this is a very special Skypod. This isn't your regular Skypod. Uh, so shout out to uh, Sky. 406 bullets. He is the uh, inventor creator of the Skypod that MDT then purchased his design and they are now selling and manufacturing the Skypod. Um, if you can't tell by these big beefy feet, this is, as I said, not the normal Skypod that MDT sells. Uh, MDT doesn't actually even sell this. You have to get it from Sky directly. Without further ado, oh, and there goes some of it. But this is the triple leg Skypod. This thing is super beefy. So let's uh, get this assembled here real quick. Throw that out the way. Arca lock, obviously, that's kind of what everybody's doing now is the uh, Arca rail system. So I went with the Arca version. He does sell a Picatinny version for those interested. Now, the standard Sky, which I have here, this is the one that I've been using all season, even going back to uh, late last year, if I remember right, or maybe the beginning of this year. But in any event, this one takes all standard Atlas feet. So this one, I have the Hawk Hill feet on it. I just like those a lot. And I, I took those straight from my Atlas. This one, obviously the diameter in here, I'll put them next to each other so you can see. And this is not the PRS legs. These are the standard legs. So they sell a Skypod with PRS legs, which are even shorter. They're about yay long, similar to what the PRS, the, the Atlas uh, PRS uh, legs are. So you can see how much longer this is in and of itself, but the diameter of this leg piece where the feet go in, you'll only be able to use the Skypod feet. Let me uh, see if I can get that to focus, because this is much beefier, and much, much larger. Same, same type of system though, just a uh, detent system. So we're just gonna snap it in, just press a little detent, and it just, <clears throat> A little tight, but ow. Mm. And struggle bus all the way there. Okay, see that? There we go. Okay, so as you can see, that diameter is pretty big. Now, maybe somebody will make aftermarket feet for it uh, later on down the line, but other than rubber feet, I mean, these are, these are definitely good enough to do pretty much everything. So, Feet to feet, that's how much taller it is. Arca to Arca, that's how much longer it is down here. As you can see, I don't have a tape measure on me, but I can get one. Give me a second here and I'll be right back. All right guys, got the handy dandy tape measure here. So I know that we're gonna be asking, first question is what is the height, kind of in the standard position, which is middle width and all the way collapsed, so something like this. So from the top of the Arca down to the bottom here, I don't know if my arm is blocking that, but uh, you're at about nine and a, about nine, nine and a half inches on the standard model. This is the, what they call the standard legs. They have the PRS legs, which are shorter than this, but uh, I don't think that that's my first recommendation necessarily, because I've seen more people that have those legs that say they wish they had just gotten the regular length legs as opposed to people that have this one and said that they had wished they gotten the shorter one. I definitely fall into the, I rather have it and not need it than to need it and say, oh shit camp. So that's why obviously I went for the biggest that they have, which is the triple leg. So let's get to measuring this bad boy. This thing is an absolute behemoth of a bipod. From the top of the Arca here to the center, you're at about 12 and a half. You're at about 12 and a half even on this. So as you can see next to each other, 
it's about five ish inches of difference fully collapsed now obviously that multiplies when you extend them all the way so i know that's going to be the next question let's get right to it at their tallest what are they so that's going to be the narrowest position and then all the way extended i'm going to measure it this way so from the tip of the arca to what amounts to basically the tip of the feet you're at about 16 16 and a quarter inches on the standard leg model so 16 to 16 and a quarter we'll put that over there this one may honestly not fit in the frame that's how long this thing is but i'll give it a shot here so down here i don't know if it's going to focus on it but yeah it is long let me bring that in all the way narrow and bring this in all the way narrow so it is very very long i don't think that it fits in the frame does it fit in the frame yeah barely you can see the bottom edge of the uh, barricade stop there so from there to here you're at about 37 37 and a quarter so 37 37 and a quarter at its tallest so damn that is big i mean big what's awesome about that though is that you can go from here the widest which is now usable in the prone at a mere eight and a half eight and a half inches at its lowest all the way to 37 and a quarter at its tallest and anywhere in between which is absolutely awesome because i know that there's going to be some people that are going to say oh man this thing you know in the standard configuration where it's middle position all the way collapse that's way too tall for prone yeah maybe unless you got like a really uphill uh, range that you're shooting on not totally uncommon mine starts to gradually go uphill even at 100 yards but again versatility of the sky pod man wide wide now i got eight and a half inches which i mean that's that's right in line with your atlas with your harris with you know the harris six to nine your your standard leg atlas and not the long one um all that kind of stuff so quick visual i guess at the longest because somebody's going to ask for this and maybe this will give you a better idea so that's the triple at its longest and this is the standard leg single leg model at its longest yeah pretty massive pretty massive weight i know someone's gonna ask about weight i weighed these uh earlier and there's about a pound of difference this one's about a pound heavier than than this one here so yeah you're talking like i believe it was two, uh, right around two two and a half pounds for the triple leg so yeah it's kind of a heavier bipod if you will but i'm not against it man you know in in prs nrl our rifles are already 22 23 some guys are running around with heavier 22 23 pounds you know what's another two and a half pounds it's i mean a gen 2 razor weighs more than that so uh, that's basically it. Uh, two features that I'd like to touch on real quick, if you guys don't mind. So this is your basically your on and off switch for panning the bipod. So before, what you used to have to do, I'll show you here. You used to have to just use an Allen key to set tension here. You wanted to lock it out completely. You tighten all the, this all the way down, but then you couldn't adjust it on the fly. You'd have to bust out an Allen key and then throw it in there. 
Now what they've done is it's still the same where you adjust tension with the Allen key, but now this is a lockout switch. So in the down position, you have pan, right? Okay, and then you want no pan, you just push it up and that's it. So the other thing that I've noticed in messing with it is that you have to make sure that the head is square up so you can't lock out the pan when it's like angled off to the side. So when you put it on your rifle, your rifle is you know, 45 degrees to the right and your bipod is dead ahead. So kind of thoughtful there, I guess, but yeah, quick on, quick off type of situation here so you can lock it out completely. So that's really awesome. Another awesome feature that I wanna to touch on is this uh, pod lock right here. So this lever, it works just like the regular pod locks that you see where you just twist it to loosen for your cant. You know, a little tension, so it's a little tighter on the cant, a little tighter on the cant. You lock it out completely so there's no cant. And then the other neat thing is that, yes, this will, so let's say your lockout is somewhere right there or where the tension is, it will hit the leg, but the cool thing is, is that it's a spring actuated lever. So the lever can just be snapped into, pulled out. So you just pull it out and then snap it into another detent and it will not adjust the tension it will just reposition the lever so you can get it out the way and stow the legs so that you're not blocking yourself. So this is from Short Action Precision, this podlock lever thing here, they sell it. They're the only ones that sell it. So make sure you visit them, shortactionprecision.com. Uh, that's Nate Webinar, Rich Chronister. Shout out to you guys. I purchased this at the NRL finale and I think that it is an absolute game changer because it makes it so much easier to adjust your cant on the fly, which I do use the cant a lot, especially with a Skypod because of so many unique positions you can get it into. That's a, a quick rundown, quick comparison and an overall feature set on the Skypods and the triple leg. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or experiences with these bipods, or maybe you're thinking about one and not sure, or you like it, you don't like it, all good, leave it in the comments below. I'm active in the comments section. I wanna hear what you guys have to say, whether you think this thing is a useless piece of junk because it's too big, or you guys think it's absolutely awesome, I wanna hear about it. You can't just say that it sucks and not have a reason why. You gotta tell me why. It's fine if you think that it's not cool, but you gotta tell me why, because if you just leave a comment saying, that's not cool, well, you sound like an idiot. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, once again, please, it would help me out a lot if you could hit the subscribe button, because we all know that YouTube is very anti-2A. So it would just help me out a lot. I would appreciate it, because I wanna keep bringing you guys reviews on gear for hunting, PRS, NRL, match shooting, uh, field shooting, just shooting in general, man. Uh, precision shooting. Definitely want to bring you guys some more stuff. So appreciate you guys for watching. Again, drop the comments below. If you guys have any questions, also drop it in the comment below. I'll be on the lookout. Until the next one, take it easy, guys.